I guess we have an update. Yeah, I guess we have an update courtesy of page six from Alexander Wang considering uh, concerning the allegations of sexual assault from a few models um, over the last what week or so. Um, one model obviously came out um, that Owen Mooney kid. Right, Owen Mooney, yeah, Owen Mooney, and then a couple of people from the scene who attach kind of regurgitate their story that I've heard over the last few years. And it, again, so somebody has been familiar with the industry, familiar with people in and around it. I've heard these rumors for a while, heard these allegations, but you just kind of, you know, chalk them up to just being accusations and nothing else. So to kind of get to a position we're in now where people are sort of, you know, the momentum is building and people are adding more fuel to the fire, it's, it's a bit odd just a bit feels a bit strange um but again it, i guess it's a uh, it's if ever there's a time to be held accountable it would be now especially if people have time on their hands and they're bored and they're willing to sh on the board time on their hands willing to share their stories and they probably feel a bit safe um things have kind of moved on um since you know what four or five years ago when the original allegations i heard sort of uh, you know kind of around the industry and um yeah people just had enough it feels like and i guess alexander wang's had enough too because he uh replied to the allegations in a very odd way first of all two sets of um replies here from him so this is from page six design alexander wang designs sexual assault trying to get this thing off here it's full i know um, it says fashion design fashion darling alexander wang is facing a mount accusations of sexual assault which he adamantly denies instagram account um shhit model image management internet watchdog di prada um in recent they shared several anonymous stories of alleged misconduct, including one person's claim that the designer served water lace with party drug Molly after model Owen Mooney came forward earlier this month. Mooney, who says he met Wang during a chance encounter in New York club in 2017, claimed the tick claimed via TikTok the designer groped him. So um his this is Wang's reply, right? Here's what he said. Um when asked for comment, Wang denied the accusation in a statement to page six and said the following Over the last few years, oh, sorry, over the last few days, I've been on the receiving end of baseless, grotesquely false accusations. These claims have been wrongfully amplified by social media accounts infamous for posting defamatory material from undisclosed and or anonymous sources with zero evidence or fact checking whatsoever. Seeing these lies about me being perpetuated as truth has been in infuriating right so a very strong response and something that i think i spoke about um previously about the interesting ways some uh, abusers and alleged you know alleged abusers decide to kind of address and approach really serious accusations and from what i've read online so far uh, the only two ways to deal with it is to ignore it and hope it goes away which it doesn't and the other way is to come out swinging like he has and completely discredit your accuser so paint the platform out to be disingenuous fake news question their um ethics and morality blah -de blah 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 in the hope that you just kind of muddy the signal and then you can kind of move on that way um kind of the the, the trump approach it continues, it says, I've, I've never engaged in atrocious behavior described and would never conduct myself in a manner that has been allied, alleged. I intend to get to the bottom of this and hold accountable whoever is responsible for originating these claims, uh, vi uh, viscerally spreading them online. <clears throat> so he categorically is basically calling anyone that's accusing him of such you know disgusting acts has been um detailed in my previous video as being a liar which is a very interesting approach to take and from what i've seen so far it doesn't usually work um so it was no surprise that the reaction when, when that first came out was like oh this is definitely words of an abuser he's guilty as fuck he's guilty as fuck and it's no surprise that he then decided to put out another statement on his own um instagram page again turning off the comments which is an interesting approach is definitely a sign of guilt or a sign of trying to avoid any kind of pushback or comment on your story um because the original post itself on diet prada is you know hundreds and hundreds of comments and stories regarding um alleged abuse and stories concerning alexander wang but he decided to post this other statement on his own instagram profile that says the following it says I'd like to take the opportunity to connect directly with the people who have followed and supported this brand and me over the years and address the recent false fabricated and most anonymously accusations against me. These based accusations were started on a social media sites which repeatedly dis disregard the value and importance of evidence or fact checking. Now, that's an important point to make because what Alexander Wang is doing is kind of establishing doubt on the platform because if you're familiar, Diet Prada is basically the platform synonymous with calling out copycat and um you know frauds and you know 
let's say questionable people in fashion but some of the allegations or some of the kind of reporting done on there has been a bit surface level they haven't really necessarily done their due diligence and there's been a lot of favoritism right there's been a lot of calling out of certain people but not calling out of other people but it's interesting to see somebody like an alexander wang who's very much liked in the industry and behind the scenes kind of people have a lot of good things to say about him even though he's probably a um a, a sort of a closeted raging alcoholic but people have a lot of good things to say about him which is funny because Diet Prada is also a platform that a lot of fashion insiders sort of like boast about being familiar with and knowing right it's sort of like a platform that people sort of love but then in the last few years or the last few months especially in light of the George Floyd incident in the US unfortunate and of course the subsequent protests they've now become a little bit of a um, black sheep in the industry right people kind of are taking every opportunity possible to sort of point out that they're no ally to any sort of uh, group um, marginalized group of fashion which has been very interesting so it's interesting to see Alexander Wang using that same approach to discredit them and obviously kind of lend credence to it no I'm not an abuser come on it's coming from Diet Prada you know they chat shit you know they're not about the culture you know they're about tearing you know they're you know they're about tearing marginalized people down and bloody blah 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 you know how it is right and upholding you know uh, fashion industry standards and norms whatever it may be it continues my team is doing everything in its power to investigate these claims and i promise to remain honest and transparent throughout this process so it's a lot more human right it's less of the kind of confrontational combative approach to the prior statement it says i'm fortunate to have received an overwhelming amount of support over the last few days and i'm thankful for those standing by my side at this time but no one's come out publicly which is another cool indication of just how fickle the industry is i don't know wang who knows if he's a creep and if he's a um, abuser behind the scenes from what i've heard the stories do seem like they're true who knows they're, they're alleged at this point in time because he hasn't been tried in a court of law whatever it may be but what i also know about the guy is that he throws hell of a party he throws crazy parties he always puts people on lists um he's very kind of open with you know sending people stuff for shoes so people love him so it's interesting that the ones that actually believe that he's innocent are unwilling to come out publicly and defend him because they don't want to be seen as co-signing a potential abuser but they're also willing to behind the scenes privately support him in the hopes that he continues sending them close and putting them to contact people and you know in you know making sure that they do daughters and their sons get intern jobs that's the slimy backhanded um snaky nature of the fashion industry again he could be you know arcade reincarnated we have no idea but it's just funny that this person who's been good to so many people behind the scenes in his real moment of need when his entire fashion empire could come crumbling down because i don't think he's going to survive this personally regardless of whether or not he's able to prove the story is incorrect i think the smut and the smudge has been put on his name is completely you know it's unwashable um, those allegations are too varied and too far flung for this to just kind of be a thing you just move on from and i just think the way he's sort of dealt with it and approached it has basically been a bit shocking and again he probably won't survive this in in theory going forward but how interesting is it that none of his big fashion friends in the industry who love to kind of boast and post pictures about themselves in the front row, take pictures of him in his long straight hair, smiling, pulling faces, jumping his comments, are saying anything now. None of them. They're all stum, they're all quiet. Why? Because they were probably aware of the things that he was doing behind the scenes. They turn a blind eye because it served their purpose and serves their need at that moment in time it's a disgusting shocking game it is what it is um again i'd love to see what happens going forward i can my theory is my uh, guess is that he won't survive this i think you know more more likely than not the allegations will probably get swept under the rug swept under the rug he'd probably deal with them privately behind the scenes settle out of court heavy maybe pay damages duh, 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 address them again one more time and try and attempt to move on and then probably turn himself into a recluse designer that will still affect their overall sales no one will want to be associated with him you know but doing collaborations and having certain people walk on your show it's going to be very difficult or it's i think a lot of fans are going to hold a lot of people accountable if they do stand next to him and go out of their way to do so you saw what happened with terry richardson and the allegations against him were you know even uh they had uh they were they were kind of decades decades long allegations and a lot of papers a lot of sorry a lot of editors a lot of magazines took a lot of stick supporting him throughout the years and you know if you according to the rumors he's still working sort of you know 
as a ghost behind the scenes still doing stuff so that is obviously a bit questionable about the industry but it's just funny man it's just funny to see like it, it, it must suck to be Alexander Wang right now to see the amount of people that have just like stopped ringing you your phone's not pinging off as much the group chats are not really you know what I mean it just must be so lonely and again another indication of just how fickle the industry is mate one moment he's everyone's friend the next moment because a story comes out that may be true or maybe not who knows everyone's now you know publicly distancing themselves and probably privately too i think their whole line about people supporting me thank you support is probably bullshit that's my opinion but again let me know your thoughts down below what do you think via that development <laughs>